Hey there beauties, my name is Kristen Marie, I'm a licensed esthetician, and in today's facial episode we are going to be switching it up a little bit. Although it'll still have an ASMR vibe to it, we are going to be focusing also on education. You'll be hearing me chat throughout the video with my client Amanda because this is her very first facial. So you'll get a good idea of what I would talk to a new client about the importance of facials, products, ingredients, and what I recommend for their skin. Amanda is a news anchor here in San Francisco, so she wants to focus on hydration, anti-aging, and unclogging her pores. So I hope you enjoy this. This was done in 80 minutes. Please feel free to comment below your questions and feedback. Hit that subscribe button and enjoy this video. Texture, just a little bit of some congestion here in the mm -hmm. chin. Yeah. A little build up on the nose area, which you definitely target with the extractions. And just that one little Yeah, that one little, little guy one right that there. I should have messed with. But your skin looks pretty um hydrated. I mean I don't feel like it looks extremely dry or too okay, oily. Good. So that's good. We'll talk more about your home care. You are losing a little bit of elasticity in your skin, so Definitely want to in the future, um, you know, do some chemical peels. But for you today, the 80 minute will include two enhancements. So I usually recommend doing a enzyme mm -hmm. um, because you don't necessarily have like problematic skin that we're really trying to target something specific, but just overall anti-aging. Okay. I think that's maybe the number one thing I could say we can work on for you. Um, and of course, you know, clearing up any congestion. So uh, an enzyme is going to be really good because it's going to give you a bit of a deeper exfoliation. So okay. um, one that I really enjoy doing is the coconut papaya enzyme. And it's nice and hydrating as well because it has the uh, coconut in there. And papaya is a really good, gentle uh, enzyme to okay. use. Cool, let's do that then. And then the second enhancement I'm going to say we should do is the I think I want to do the oxygen mask. That's been the one that's actually been kind of popular for a lot of my collabs is, mm -hmm. the, is the foamy mask that sits on the skin and it helps to clear up uh, congestion in the pores. Okay. So I think that will really help with, you know, the nose area, which is where I'm seeing more of yeah. the, you know, the clogged pores. Yeah. And uh, just a, a little bit on the forehead too. I see a couple like open comedones going on. Are, these are more closed, but we can talk about how to kind of address okay. those more too. But yeah, yeah that's kind of my like plan of action for today. Like in the last year, I never had those, and then just oh, on really? the chin. I don't know. Okay. Why. Well, chin tends to be pretty hormonal, mm. so it could be that. Yeah, this makes mm -hmm. sense. Yeah, but yeah, I think your skin looks pretty good. Okay. Um, but yeah, again, just a couple of suggestions I had. Okay. <laughs> I mean, whatever, you know, whatever you want to have fun with and include. This is, I don't remember if I told you, this is my first facial, so I'm kind of just like... Oh, it's like, your first facial yeah, ever? Yeah. Oh, that's exciting. Yeah, so I'm like along for the ride, whatever you want to do. Okay. The Stone Crop Gel Wash from Eminence Organic Skin Care is one of their best sellers and award-winning. It's also vegan, nut-free, and gluten-free. How's that? It is perfect for those with even the most sensitive skin, which is why I like to use it on first-time clients. It has botanical extracts and stone crop, which is a very healing plant, which helps to brighten, hydrate, and heal the skin.
The Image MD Restoring Facial Cleanser is formulated for medical practices and is also available through a licensed skincare professional. This is customized with a blend of glycolic, lactic, and salicylic acid to effectively sweep away impurities while revitalizing the skin. Salicylic acid exfoliates and helps to remove dull skin while lactic and glycolic acids help to reveal a radiant, smooth appearance. Aloe leaf juice and menthol leave your skin feeling energized and refreshed. The Skin Scrub Coconut Papaya Enzyme is great for normal to sensitive skin, specifically for dry, rough, and wrinkled skin. Key ingredients like coconut fruit puree has moisturizing properties and promotes healthy cell growth. While the papaya fruit puree is an excellent natural enzyme to digest and dissolve dead skin cells, it's also high in vitamin C and beta carotene. Another ingredient to note is a yogurt extract, which moisturizes, reduces inflammation, and stimulates cellular regeneration. Is your routine more simple because you're busy or because you don't know? Um, I guess probably both. <laughs> like, yeah, I guess it's just always been like a simple routine and then I, you know, got used to it and then figured nothing was going wrong with it. So yeah. just to keep it, that you know. Okay. Do you kind of know what the purpose of this serum would be? Um, not really, and then I think once I had, like, the allergy with my eye makeup, I was just like, I'm gonna do as simple as I can, and, like, avoid what might make me break out, or, like, 
you know, be bad for my skin, but I feel like I've gotten that under control, hopefully. Um, okay. So, yeah, I, I haven't really, like, looked into what serums I should be using, I guess. Okay. I would say, like, generally, I think everybody should use a vitamin C serum or antioxidant serum mm -hmm. um, during the daytime. Okay. And the one that I really enjoy using is the one that Image um, Skincare has. Mm -hmm. And I like to say it's like a three-in-one, so it's got vitamin C, a blend of vitamin C, and um, also it has hyaluronic acid, so there's a little bit of a creamy, mm, hydrating okay. consistency to it. And hyaluronic acid is supposed to lock in moisture. Okay. Um, so ideally you would do this product like after you kind of slightly spray your face or dampen your face, mm -hmm. which you know, it's usually kind of damp after you cleanse. Yeah. So. Um, and then it also has peptides, so peptides are going to be kind of the building blocks of your proteins in your skin, which mm -hmm. is the collagen and elastin, and that's what gives your skin that firmness or bounce back. Yeah. So it would be a good idea to start using something that's going to promote that firmness in your skin. And you just do that right after you wash your face? Yeah, so you would cleanse, and then you would your toner and then you do your serum and the reason why you do your serum first is because serum is formulated with a lower molecular weight so it's going to penetrate deeper into the skin so you want to put that first because the moisturizer is going to be more topical so Got it. serum's going to not be able to dig deeper if a big fat, big fat moisturizer molecule is yeah. in the way so it's kind of the concept Got it. really like kind of the main point of a facial is to help speed up that cell renewal process. Your mm -hmm. skin already regenerates every 30 to 60 days depending on how old you are. Mm -hmm. And as you get older that slows down so getting a facial you know becomes a little more vital as your renewal process slows down. Yeah. And because too we have access to those stronger products so we can speed up that cell turnover a lot quicker than you could using some stuff from, you know, Sephora or yeah. Target, you know, those places. <laughs> yeah, it's good that I'm doing this because now I'm like thinking, okay, I am like just turned 32, you know, mm -hmm. like you gotta, you have to think about this stuff. Yeah, you definitely do. Especially, like, my job is on camera, yeah. <laughs> like, you know? Mm -hmm. For sure. Continued to do makeup for a while, mm -hmm. um, but then you know I had my son, and I just honestly preferred not to have to go and 
kind of like travel around a bunch, you know? Yeah. Like I'd rather have people come to me. Yeah. <laughs> and I just, I don't know, the, the vibe of a facial is more my style than the, you know, makeup yeah. aspect because it's just kind of stressful. Oh, definitely. For like events and yeah, stuff. Yeah, for events you know, like, and right weddings and stuff. Yeah. It is a little stressful, so I was like, yeah, I think facials are a bit more my speed. Yeah. I like making people feel, you know, relaxed. Yeah, it's more calm and definitely. Yeah. And I noticed too when people had good skin, their makeup went on just so much better. Yeah. So I kind of feel like, you know, it goes hand in hand. Yeah. Get facials if you want your skin to look good for like a special occasion. Yeah. Or, you know, like you said, if you're on TV or, yeah. or do a photo shoot or something. Mm -hmm. So then how long have you had this business? I've had this business for almost four years. It'll oh, be wow. Four years in August. Yeah. yeah.
So this is that vitamin C serum. This is the uh, moisturizer with niacinamide and the bakuchio. Yeah. 